Imagine a future where heart failure is treated with precision medicines based on a patient's unique molecular profile. Heart failure is a complex syndrome, often complicated by multiple interrelated diseases, affecting 64 million people worldwide. New therapies have been introduced which delay progression of the disease, but there are no treatments that stop, reverse or cure heart failure. There are also fewer options for patients with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, or HEFPEF, a specific type of heart failure where the heart can't fill correctly with blood. And current research suggests that as people live longer, HEFPEF is becoming more common. At AstraZeneca, we believe that no heart should fail. That's why our scientists are using banks of human genetic data and applying artificial intelligence algorithms to reclassify patients based on uniform molecular markers, leading to the potential of biomarker-guided treatment. We are connecting heart failure with other cardiac, renal and metabolic diseases and shared disease drivers such as inflammation and fibrosis. What helps us in our quest to transform the disease is learning more about the precursors of heart failure, including cardiomyopathies or diseases of the heart muscle and amyloidosis, conditions that result in protein deposits in the heart. We bolster our research by using humanized 3D models which use human cells in a diseased setting to help us better predict the clinical effectiveness of our molecules before a single patient takes them. Our pipeline goes beyond traditional small molecules, monoclonal antibodies and peptides, to include new modalities including oligonucleotides, mRNA and cell therapy. We are also taking this research to the community. On the heart bus, patients undergo in-depth assessments and this data sheds new light on the disease. Innovation extends into our clinical trials, from pioneering design using patient registries to using geofencing that signals when a patient has been in a hospital for some time and may have had a heart attack. We are elevating heart failure as a healthcare priority with our global Act on Heart Failure program, which has reached more than 20 million at-risk people and helped to drive further education among more than 145,000 healthcare professionals. We need to work together to stop hearts failing and transform the lives of heart failure patients.